Hey everybody, I'm uh, going to show you just some quick Gmail filtering options for uh, maybe some emails that you don't want to look at all the time or they need to be auto forwarded to somebody else. Um, I, I've got a couple strategies here for you to do that. Um, <clears throat> if you want to create like a really basic filter where it just either like skips the inbox or it sends it to a certain label or something in your uh, Gmail, you don't have to do this first part, this forwarding part, but if you want to, you just click this, the email that you want to start, the type of email that you want to start forwarding or filtering, I'm sorry, and then filter messages like these. We're going to come back to this because I want to preload you with a little bit of uh, information if you want your emails to auto forward to something else, right? All right, so I'm going to click the settings gear up here and then I'm going to click see all settings. And I'm going to go to forwarding. And most of us probably don't have a forwarding address. Uh, you can put a forwarding address in here if you wanted all of your emails to get forwarded to a different address, right? So let's say you wanted all your emails from Southwestern City Schools to be forwarded somewhere else. You could do that. Um, but you can also set this up to disable forwarding. And you can put somebody else's email address. So this isn't my email address, right? This is just uh, uh, a test account. Um, and I'm not going to forward a copy of my, my email to this because I don't want this account to see every email I get, right? But what I do want to do is uh, forward only part of my mail. Huh, tip, you can also forward some of your mail by creating a filter. That's what I want to do, right? So if I click on this creating a filter, it's going to give me the blank template here which works fine. Um, but now that I've got this set up, keep this as disabled because this is not my email address. So I don't want all my email going there. I'm going to go to the email that I want to filter, right? So I want this email to be filtered. I'm going to go to more filter messages like these. There's a lot of ways to build these, but I find this to be the easiest because it preloads the information, right? So it, it's going to load the sender here. Uh, if you wanted it to be different, a different filter in general, you could, you know, you could put a different subject here, right? Like, let's say anytime somebody puts in something about Pear Deck, for example, for me, uh, I want it to filter to a certain, do a certain task here, or anytime the message has the certain words in it, I want it to go somewhere else, right? But for me, I just want to filter messages from this person. I'm going to hit create filter here. And now here are all the different ways you can filter. So uh, skip the inbox might be helpful for you if you don't want to see these messages. Um, I also like the label option because then I can put them into a specific label and find them really easily. Uh, I could also create a label that's just called filtered emails or something. And I could just, you know, if I had 10 minutes and I wanted to go look through what was being filtered, I could do that, right? Um, but here's the option that we're, we're, we preloaded, right? Forward it to. Now, if you didn't have an address already preloaded here, you would have to go to add forwarding address. It's going to kick you out of this, go back into your settings, and then you're going to have to come back to this, right? It's kind of a pain. So instead, set that up ahead of time. I can forward it to 000. So now anytime I get a message from this person, it's going to, with these two options, it's going to skip the inbox. So I'm not going to see it in my inbox and it's going to forward it on to the person I need it to forward to, right? You can also have it send a message back out or mark it or do lots of different things, right? And then you just hit create filter and you're done, right? It's not going to do it for this message. It's already been read and responded to, but future messages, that's what's going to happen. Now, you're done, but let's just say you're done with that or you don't want that filter anymore. You're wondering, do I have other filters? What's actually being filtered? I can go back into my settings gear. I can check out filters and blocked addresses. And I can either edit or delete this right here. All right. Okay. And then the other thing I can also do is I can, if I need to, if I'm done with this and this is just a random email or, you know, a colleague's email or something like that, I can come remove this if I need to, so that it's no longer in my forwarding messages options, okay? And that's where you're gonna find filtering and forwarding your emails.